chapter 6. First date Alexa. Alexa is this girl right here from chapter 1. Your day game approach resulted in a coffee shop date. Another one. There isn't any music or alcohol, or people for that matter. So will your charm be enough to make her attracted to you? The goal, the goal, 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 is the kiss. Go, go, go. Hey, yeah, that actually looks more like a coffee shop. Or does it? Hey. Hi. How you doing? Good, how are you? Very nice. You look great. Thank you, so do you. Cheers. <laughs> take a seat. I ordered you We just did. Tea. Thank you. Tea bars. Right? I do. I mean, you're not English, but I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure you drink tea too. I still like tea. Oh, she didn't clean that up. It was your cat. Oh, you got me some guy. Cool, so how have you been? Good. Busy. Yeah, busy? Yeah, work. Mm -hmm. It's been overwhelming. You told me, what was it you said? You said you work in a charity or something, but I yeah. don't know what it is. What? <laughs> uh, non profit animal shelter, doing cat rescues. I don't remember you telling me that, but anyway. Tell her about the time you turned her a cat and how funny it was. B, be nice about cats and about her. C, I totally prefer dogs just to be a contrarian motherfucker. Oh, a cat shelter? Yeah. Hmm, that's interesting because you might have met some, some cats that I've been in contact with. Really? Um, yeah, what's there? Did a cat come to you, I don't know, like six weeks ago or so, like a ginger one with white spots? Mm, you we know, get like, lots of those. Yeah, I guess. Well, this was so funny, right? Me and some friends, um, we were just out and, you know, bored like you are. And there's this cat, like in my neighborhood, I often see it. It's very friendly, sure. like yeah. this ginger one. And it came up to us like that, right? And we were taking it, like playing with it. But then we decided we'd tie a little rope around it and um, attach fireworks all <laughs> along. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. And then just lit it. And it was like, <laughs> like that just went mental. Actually, I've got a video. I'll show no, you. No, you're joking. No, it was phenomenal. Look, wait. It's one of the funniest things I've ever seen, actually. Where is it? But there is the little shit. Look. Oh my god! No! How, how <laughs> could you do that to a cat? He trusted you, he came Wait, up look, to you! This is no! Where the fire no, went. no, I don't want to see it! Mm. You're terrible! What do you mean? No, you're absolutely fucking terrible! Again, is that the actress? Or the character? Oh man. I'm, I'm gonna call the cops. It likes it, no, I think. No, no, no. He liked it, he said. <laughs> in the game, that's cool. In real life, totally illegal. Oh, man. Dude, you, you missed some very long ones earlier, Team Boss. There was another one that it was funny in the first 10 seconds, and then it went on for five fucking minutes. Dogs? Yeah, I don't know. He thought it could have worked out, some guy. You never know. You never fucking know. Anyway. So, yeah, we're going for blah, blah, blah. A cat show too, mm -hmm. really? Yeah. Oh, that's so sweet. So, <laughs> you're just doing that, and I guess you don't get paid, like... No. Yeah, hey, subtitles, hello. No, it's very small and usually, usually actually free. Very um, cool. Yeah, it's good. It's nice. It helps helps out a lot. So you love cats, and you just decided to <laughs> do something. Yeah, I love all animals, but uh, cats here need the most help. That's great. I'm so. sure people love you for that. Then some people. <laughs> most people like cats. I like cats. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. That's good. Do you have any? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should you should stop by, and I can maybe help you find one. Okay. Well, actually, I travel a lot, so it's it's not it's not good. But okay. I can come by and just you know play with them and whatever and then that would be nice cool <laughs> when someone does something like this you know charity something that they really care about don't tease it don't take the piss don't be rude about it connect on 
Connect so what what's your work entail there? Are you like, you know, holding a ball of string all day playing with the cats? <laughs> no. <laughs> serious stuff. That's part of it. But um, actually, we do transports nationwide. Mm. So it will be a joke about that. Trust me, some guy. Someone who can take it elsewhere in the country to save its life. Um, Let's make a bet. Okay. That's actually the reason it's been really busy is a cat I had adopted. I lost him. So you lost him? He's, yeah, he's been adopted and I opened his cage and he ran out um, and I don't really know how to tell the people. So he's like somewhere in the building? Or yeah, it could hopefully. Be anywhere. <laughs> it could be anywhere. He may have found his way outside. But um, I don't know how to tell the people. So maybe you have an idea? Advisor to buy a cat <clears throat> that looks the same. B. Tell her to be dishonest and see if she agrees to check her. C. Tell her <clears throat> to just act as if it never happened. And D. Recommend that she tell the truth. Mm. Yeah, let's go for this one. Well, why don't Funny you just joke. find a cat that looks the same, like buy a new one that <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks similar? Oh, she's loving this. Yes, found him. Not really supposed to buy cats. It defeats the purpose of the shelter. Um, and he's pretty distinct. I don't think it would work in this okay. town. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah. It's suggesting a dishonest course of action. So think about what that says about you. Good um, job. I actually don't think you told me what you do. Oh yeah, I didn't, did I? No. <laughs> I think I did in the first chapter. Boring truth, I'm a QA manager for a software company that creates inventory systems. B, funny joke. I ran an obedience schools for small pets, hamsters and gerbils mostly. C, who? Braggadocious? Lie. I'm one of the top 10 real estate brokers in the country. I just sold a property to Donald Trump for 1 billion. D, dismiss her. It's very important. Life's too short to talk about work. All right, let's go for the lie. You don't know? I thought you would have checked, you know, Googled me or something. No. Because <laughs> no? I'm in the news at the moment because uh, I'm one of the top real estate brokers in the country and just closed wow. a billion dollar deal with the Trump, Donald. Really? Yeah. Big stuff. You like him? Well, I like I like money. <laughs> yeah. He's got money. He's so not I a guess good I like him. Well, real estate's real estate, right? I'd probably sell something to Saddam Hussein or... Uh, He's fucking dead. Osama bin Laden if they, if they were still with us. That's a little oh, concerning, God, but uh, I guess if you're good with business, that makes sort of sense. Yeah. I mean, money's money, right? And let's imagine I get this billy from Donald Trump and then I give it all to charity, right? Give it to a cat shelter, then it makes me... Makes you, it good, right? Deal? Um... Deal you give the money to the cat shelter. I can give some money to the cat okay. shelter. Then it's fine. Five dollars <laughs> or something, but uh, something, something. Okay. Give a little back. Sure. Lies will get you into trouble, and unless you move very, very fast, you're going to get caught out. And even if you don't get caught out, it's a recipe for disaster. So if you're not satisfied with where you are in life, work to change that so that you never need to lie. Yeah, become so more of a millionaire than fucking work? Trump. Um, what do I do? So I do some fitness stuff and I study languages. Great. And what else? I, f I play chess as well. I don't know how to play chess. Oh, really? Me yeah. neither. You don't know how the pieces move or you can't play very well. <laughs> I can move them, I just don't know how the You game know what works. they're called? Like the horse and whatever. <laughs> Is there a rook? Is yeah, there a rook. Thing? Yeah. Rook or castle, okay. yeah. I know some. Okay, well it's quite easy to learn and it's really, I think it's quite cool for the brain. My mum bought me a chess set and then Great. I thought, okay, it can't just sit there, I'm going <laughs> to learn how to play. Cool, you have to teach me. Mm -hmm. And what else? I like, um, I like photography, it's probably actually my major hobby. The really? thing I spend the most time doing is photography. Oh, that's great. Why, why do you like it? Because you never cared about it, basically. It's my calling. Photography? Oh yeah. For extra monies. Actually, there was this time when I just uh, bored. Well, I live in Chile. We are in the middle of the jungle, you know. Third world. Got a friend's camera, and mm -hmm. I just took some pictures, and I loved it. And then everywhere I was going, I was looking at things and thinking, oh, that would make a nice shot, that would make a nice shot. 
uh, took some pictures of friends and, you know, they all used it as their Facebook profile pictures. <laughs> like, like a headshot. Yes, yeah, so I, cool. I just really got into it and I guess I, you got it. I might have some talent, so... You know, I keep it, but it's just a hobby. I'm not thinking about it too seriously. Well, it sounds like you're having fun. That's, yeah. that's great. You can take your picture if you like. Do you like having your picture <laughs> taken? <laughs> sure, yeah, we could try. Cool. I could use a new profile photo. A little creepy. Yep, yep. When you have something that you like doing, why not be a little bit passionate about it? Tell her why. Try and, you know, get that infectious emotion spread to her. So, yeah, that's the right answer. So I actually do photography too. Oh wow. Well, yeah. Okay. Um, what camera do you use? Uh, it's a Canon 5D Mark III. It's a good one. It's better than mine. <laughs> oh yeah? What do you have? iPhone? <laughs> a 40D. And, yes, in an iPhone. Um, but I use a 40D. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I actually uh, got into photography because I modeled. Okay. Kind of still do a little bit here and there. Whoa, what an interruption. What, hand modeling? B, be very impressed. C, doesn't mean if I give you some money, I can take pictures of you. And... Dude, I always have trouble pronouncing this. Lingerie, I guess. D. I thought I saw you on tipthrow.com. Yeah. E. Nice. It's hard work, but you can. That can be interesting, right? Especially if you like travel. Which countries have you worked in? F. Let me tell you what I think about that. Dude. Farts. Lingerie. Okay. Oh, I think, okay, I think I've heard it like that. Thank you, Team Bus, the bus of teenagers. It's really interesting that you said that. Um, let me tell you what I think about that. Hang okay. On. Oh, my God. Are you serious? What? That's disgusting. Is that you joking? No, no. Hang on a minute. I might need to go to fix this in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, I'll be back. Hang on. Just leave, girl. I know it's so hard sometimes, but just try and hold it in there as long as you can. He was kind of forcing it. Okay, let's go for the deepthrow.com. Is that even a site? Serious question? Kind of curious about that? Ah, so you model? Yeah, I was going to say, right? But, you know, you, you mentioned it first, so I guess I can. But I definitely saw you on, on a website. You know, you, do you have your campaigns and videos and different things in different places? Yeah, there's a portfolio on there. Yeah, I think there was this video on Pornhub. What was it? No. I don't remember. Like, Someone that looked like me, deep maybe. Deep throat, something, but... So mm. it was, yeah, no. It was definitely It was you. certainly definitely not you. me. Don't, don't be ashamed. Come on. No, 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 no. It just wasn't me. It wasn't me. Okay. It wasn't you. Wow. But just so you know, like, you sure can suck a dick. Oh, my God. Fuck you. Ow. Where that's, are you that's going? That's disgusting. Let's make some movies. <laughs> you dirty little bugger. Out. Okay, so... Less daring. So you do modeling and I take but pictures, daring so maybe I could take your picture sometime. Yeah, yeah, that could be fun. And you do, like, uh, lingerie, shorts, no. bikini, these things? No, uh, bikini maybe, but they'd have to be very, like, classy. Um, how much money? Like, I mean, because we could do it for fun, but I could also pay you. So if I gave you some cash, would you get your tits out, for example? No. No? No. We well, haven't heard how much yet. Well, what about it doesn't matter. a couple hundred? No. It's an ethics thing. I, no, not interested. And I could sign something that is not going to be on my website, like girls I bang. So for com. your personal use, you want yeah, photos just for of my me use. naked? Yeah. No. Ab just for my Absolutely personal not. use. No. Good luck finding someone. You should maybe check Craigslist. Craigslist, yeah. you say? And what, what do I search for? Hmm. Hmm. Not the way to do it. You want to offer just some normal photos, and when she's on the actual shoot, just try and get it a little bit more racy, step by step. Give her some drinks and see what happens. All right, that's no great advice. <laughs> All right, anyway. This is like changing subject out of nothing. Why? All right, let's try hand modeling. What, like hand modeling or something? Mm, no, not usually. Like catwalk? 
catwalk. Because uh, you're not very tall. I'm not very tall. No, it's rare that I get to do catwalk. Um, a lot of, uh, like, um, glamour, fashion sort of shots. Uh, very fancy dresses, extreme dresses, or hair. Mm hmm. Okay. This is a kind of PUA neg. Um, it's okay if the girl is being very cocky and bitchy, but this girl's actually quite nice and sweet at heart, so um, she's not a stuck-up model, so you don't really need to punish her with it. So this um, joke was a little bit too mean. So you've got your to be a joke, huh? to work, mm -hmm. you do some modeling, you yeah. do some photography, yes. so you're already pretty busy, right? Yeah, Do you have time for anything else? I like to hike a lot. I like to be outside, you know, being in the shelter and modeling, you're usually indoors, so mm -hmm. it's nice to get outside and I don't like being in the gym, so hiking is like my way of working Yeah, it's out. very good exercise it is. and fresh air and all that as well. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But um, I also really like, you know, staying in sometimes and just like watching a movie. Oh, movies, okay. Mm -hmm. what's, what's like the... Best movie you've seen that you really loved recently? A oh, nice hard overall. So like oh, it's recently. so silly. But it's kind of like a guilty pleasure movie, but um, Jurassic World. Ask if she understood it and explained the key events. B, tell her that shows uh, she has a pea brain. C, say that you like it too, even though you don't. D, just say matter of factly that you didn't like it. E, playfully tease her for her liking that movie. Hmm. Yeah, this is very gentlemanlike. Wait a minute. Why, why did I invite you on a date? If you if you like that, you've obviously got a pea brain. No. How can you like that movie? It's shit. Because it's silly. It's not supposed to be serious. But it's not entertaining, it's not funny, it's just dumb bullshit. Only an idiot could like it, come on. Really? Yeah. Well, then I don't well, know. What's your IQ? Did you have an IQ test? Or you couldn't, you probably weren't even smart enough to click the button and say start test, yeah? You know, I think uh, I'm going to stay here and finish my tea because I'm so stupid. And you should maybe go down the street to the library and find yourself a smart girl. Well, I don't even need to go to the library to find a girl smarter than you. You could find one, I don't know, like retarded mental institute. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, those features are the very fucking best. Movie, but she's still a sweet girl and she might have other good points other than her taste in films, so a little bit harsh, wasn't it? <laughs> Special at the end. <sighs> Man. Yeah. I didn't like it. Too much <laughs> CGI and just kind of lame. But Yeah, it's not for everyone, but at least, at least you're honest about it. Yeah, I mean, I'm Woo! not going to lie to you. And at least, um, you know, people can't like the same movies. And normally girls like these rom-coms and guys like action movies and whatever. Yeah, so. it's true. Do you like rom-coms? No. Okay, good. Well, there we go. That's the positive. <laughs> good. This is okay because you're being honest, but why not use the opportunity to tease or do something that would dial up the attraction? So no. what sort of movies do you like? I know everyone says it, but I do have a, a varied taste. So if you looked at my iTunes, um, I've got foreign movies, you know, Korean, French, wow. uh, Spanish. A lot of like, subtitles. Yeah, lots of subtitles. <laughs> I don't, I'm not scared of subtitles. And what else? I've got like the silly action movies, all the Schwarzenegger stuff, and then like the Panero, um, Panero. De Niro. <laughs> De Niro okay. and Pe De Niro. It's like De Niro and Pacino. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that, that, right. we can use that for you the like genre. Them. You like them both? Yeah, like the mafia stuff, heat, right. you know, all Anything of that. Anything so. recent? A uh, recent movie. Fifty Shades of Grey. Just find bondage uh, really sensual. I really don't like, don't have time for movies. I don't even own a TV. Life is about living, not sitting in front of a screen. Dude, that's life. See, my favorite movie is the one he will make together in the bathroom. Of course. Well, I'm thinking of a good movie, but it hasn't been made yet. Let me tell okay. you about it. Sure. The stars, me and you. Okay. The location, what would be good? Uh, like an all white bedroom, you know, just everything white. And then what's going to happen? Well, I guess we'd start with some gentle kissing, move on to some sucking and licking. Oh, my. And then take it from there. So... No. It's going to be great. You're joking. 
Am I joking? Problem is, he isn't. Joking? Then I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> I got you there, didn't I? Yeah, you, you did. You had me a little nervous. Yeah. No, I, I'm not, I wasn't thinking of that. Just being silly. Yeah, so um, movies. Look at her face. Uh, yeah, I like action movies, basically. A action like, you know, Schwarzenegger, Stallone. These kind of classic action movies. Great. Yeah. She's fucking living. Okay, that's great. You know, if you do like filming movies, cool. But wait till you're in a relationship. Wait, he said filming movies? For a few times. Then she might agree. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot the initial point. So... I missed it at the cinema, but I just saw Fifty Shades of Grey. Mm. Have you seen it? No, I heard it was bad. Uh, as a movie, it's bad. But you know what's cool? It's just all this stuff about you know, tying girls up and having a little dungeon in your house where you have all of the, you know, all of the oh, accessories. A, excellent sound effects. It's a little silly, a little over the top. Are you, I mean, is it too personal for me to ask, but you, are you into any of that stuff? At least, you know, blindfolds, handcuffs, mm. being tied up? Might be too personal for now. Okay, well... Is that a yes? I like it. Okay, but... You know, in the real world, don't get so sexual so fast. Keep it chilled, wait till you know she's going to be into it. Then slowly, bit by bit. Then, handcuff her. Actually, I just threw my TV in the trash and I, I don't really go to the movies. I think that, you know, when it comes to all this, there's just more important things in life to do than sitting down watching something passively. Why don't you read a book? That's true. That's fair. I actually kind of like that answer. Good, good. This is an option, you know, where you've chosen to be a little bit out there, a little bit straight and direct, but then she's actually followed you into it and validated it. So it's quite risky, but when you take a big, you know, position like that and you can convince them to it, it's very attractive. And I like, you know, really talented actors, but... Sure. What do you think? Would you be a good actress? Could you like cry on call? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. Are you a good that liar? sounds hard. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm really not. That's kind of connected, right? I can lie for like a minute and then I feel really bad about it and I admit it right away. Mm. So I'm not sure if you'd be good, but do you have any other talents? Mm, I play the violin. Yeah, really? Yeah. Wow. Since I was like five. And you still do it? You kept it up? Not as much as I should, but yeah. Well, that's impressive. Thanks. It's hard. You want to impress her. That's not a good idea in general. Show off by showing what you can do with your tongue. Okay? Show off with a stack of cash and tell it it could be hers. Ask her where she lives so that she asks you back. I mean... I mean... Timbas, of course, buddy. Of course. Well, playing the violin is great, obviously. I, I don't know if I can compete with that as far <laughs> as uh, talents go, but I do have something that I think you're going to be impressed with. Wait, okay. Let me just, I'm just sending you a picture. Do you have your phone here? No, I'm sorry. Right, okay. I left it in my car. I'll send it so you're going to have it to keep. Okay. But let me show you this. So I've just sent it to you. Timbus, no. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know, right? No, that's... Yeah. No. That's not okay. Oh, it's very... What do you mean it's not okay? It's way above average. But 10 inches. <laughs> <laughs> You're dreaming. Um, and I'm wrong? leaving. <laughs> what, what are you doing? Oh. You like small dicks or what? <laughs> How sweet. You gave her a lasting record. Okay, whatever. Um, tongue skills. Well, violin takes a lot of practice, doesn't mm -hmm. it? And yeah, it does. I've got something I practice every day as well. Yeah? Look, that's check fine. this out. And then look. <laughs> that took you a long time to learn. Well, it's practice, isn't it? So mm. I could do it quite quickly, but now the muscle is just so strong, it, it never gets sure. tired. Ah. Which is, oh. Which is good for, mm. for speaking all the languages. Yeah, you know, of course. Because learning languages and of course. rolling the R's and whatever. <laughs> good. All right, that wasn't what I expected. Don't come and think about things that you need to show a girl, tell a girl, in order for her to like you more. She will actually like you more if you're cool and chilled and don't reveal these things. Wait, the game just said, impress the girl. Okay. 
as if you don't have to because you're already enough. And that's going to make her curious and make her work harder for you. Focus on the body language. Oh shit, she's tense. It must be a very interesting conversation right there. Her arms are crossed, what does it mean? Arms crossed means that she's sub subconsciously thinking of hanging you. This is a good sign. Arms crossed indicate that she's not yet open to you. This is not a good sign. Kind of obvious, isn't it? This is not an absolute rule, but in most cases it's correct, so well done. Woo! You want to know if she likes you. She does. She's on a date with you. Come on. Anyway, A. Ask her if she likes you. No, don't do that. B. Tell a lame joke and see if she laughs. C. You self pity to fish for compliments. No. Low self esteem. Oh, can I tell you a joke? Yeah. I've got a brilliant joke. Um, okay, how does it go? What is red and smells like blue paint? I don't know. You don't know, do you? No. Red paint. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> brilliant, right? I love that Absolutely one. brilliant. One of the biggest signs of interest that a girl can give is if she laughs at your lame jokes. Doesn't mean you need to consciously remember this lame joke and use it, but you can pay attention to, you know, moments where you think, hang on, she's laughing and I didn't really say anything funny. Yeah, don't worry, it means she likes you, so learn that lesson. And how about your family? Do they live, do they live in the city as well? No, I moved away from home. Um, oh, yeah? Which is, yeah, it's sad. I miss them. I miss seeing them. When did you leave? When you were, like, a teenager? You ran away? <laughs> no. Rebellious teenager? No, for school. For school. And okay. then I just stayed here. But you get on well with your family. You don't hate yeah, them. Yeah, no, absolutely. I actually, um, I have a twin sister and we're very close. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. A. Tell her about your twin sexual fantasy. B. Ask if they have special bond. C. Tell them you're like a twin because you hate most people but like yourself. D. Ask a series of questions to find out more. Obviously, I always go for the no-go first. Twins? Wow. Yeah. No way. That really gets me thinking. Because, yeah, I've got all of these, um, you know, fantasies. And I didn't know you had a twin, so maybe... Yeah, so for Her example, expressions like, are the when we're already best. having sex, like obviously not now, because we, we met recently, but when we're having sex already and we're kind of dating, and then sometimes you could send your twin, and I don't know, mm -hmm. and then I'm having sex with her, but then you come in, like, surprise, yeah. you're having sex with my twin, right. and can I join you as well? Yeah. And, like, I know, let's see which twin yeah. is better at giving blowjobs, and then let's compare your asses, are they identical, and right. are your pussies identical? Yeah. And, all of this stuff, it's, just, it's gonna be brilliant. Fucking love her I'm so happy, it just doubles how much I like you. And yes. I already liked you a lot. And this is actually just nothing new for me, and it's rather boring, so... Nothing I'm go new? Give her so how many call. times have you done it? How many men have you <laughs> shared? <laughs> what? What? This is one of those cases where you don't say what you think, so obviously if you meet a hot girl who's got a twin, a normal man's gonna think, very, very, very first thing, I need a threesome with those two twins. But... She no. knows that, so don't say it. That's fine. It's just funny. It wasn't really. So yeah, let's go for the bond. Twin, wow. Connection yeah. thing. Really interesting actually. You know they do loads of studies on twins, don't yes, they? Yes, I do. Did, did they do anything on you? Like psychological no. studies, psychic no. tests or whatever? No, it'd be fun. I think it'd be fun though. Do you, do you have some like special bonds? Like if I pinched you now, I won't do it, but like if I pinched you really hard, would she kind of feel it? Oh, my arm feels strange. I don't know. We could do it and I could text her <laughs> if she felt something. <laughs> Try that later. Yeah. But you get on really well? Or you're competitive? We, like, we how's do. your relationship? No, we, we understand each other very well. We always know each other's emotions without having to say it. That's very nice. So you have <laughs> someone who's always like supporting you and who understands the you. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah, I think so. Wait, what, what were they talking about? Oh, yeah, the bomb. I've fallen into the dirty guy trap. You didn't do it in this choice. It's the right one. Well done. So you being so the dirty guy, basically, alone. I've got, I've got family. 
Okay, good. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't have any brothers and sisters, and people say that makes me like selfish. But no, I don't Does think it? so. No, I don't think so. And I'm quite close to my mum. Uh, my dad's Italian, so hmm. I see him sometimes, but less often. And what else? I have five five children. Really? Yeah, but they don't live in the country. They're like all in different countries, so that's okay. You're joking. Yeah, I'm joking. Okay, good. <laughs> all the jokes. No children and, and no wife. Okay, that's that's good. That's yeah. ideal. You want to increase the attraction? Say that you like kind people, so ask what she has done for others. B. Tell tell her how you recently won a strength competition at the gym. No. C. Say that your ex-girlfriend is now dating Drake. What the fuck is Drake? D. Neck her by saying that she looks like Hillary Clinton. Again, E. Smoothly show her your D. Star, star, star. Yeah, second time I want to show dick to this girl. You work in the shelter, but do you have、mm -hmm. any cats yourself? I do actually. I have two. Oh, okay, tell me, tell me about them. Yeah, I, I get the、um, let's joke. Let's see. One of them, he's actually really special needs. He's deaf and he has asthma. He's allergic to like every food、mm. in the whole world.、Um, the other one's just really sweet and kind of gentle. Oh no! Look what happened. Oh my god! <laughs> Game over, motherfucker! You blew it. Whoa! 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 Okay, I want to see her reaction again when she showed the dick. You work in the shelter, but do you have、mm -hmm. any cats yourself? I do actually. I have two. Okay, tell me, tell me about them. Um, let's see. The、Just、one of them, he's actually really special needs. He's deaf and he has asthma. He's allergic to like every food、mm. in the whole world. Um, the other one's just really sweet and kind of gentle. Oh no! Look what happened. Oh my god! Game over, motherfucker! You blew it. <sighs> look what happened, and they're doing it while laughing their asses off. That's the best part out of this. So yeah, nigger about、uh, by saying that she looks like Hillary Clinton. Oh man! I was trying to think who you remind me of, and I think I've got it. Has anyone ever told you that you're like Hillary Clinton? No. 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 No one. No. In what way exactly? Well, not really in the way you look.、Um, okay, that's good. I mean, she's she's old. She's. <laughs> Slightly, slightly, or a lot older. I'm not sure how、slightly. old you are. And then,、um, but something about like your, I guess you're poised. You know, you're like a strong woman. Okay, well that's、yeah. that's actually kind of nice. Nice.、Yeah. Now it is kind of cool to tell a girl that she looks like a famous person. You should be careful who you choose: porn stars and aging politicians. Not so much. How about no one at all? Kind of obsession with people. You look like blah blah blah. You sound like blah blah blah. I get the shit a lot. Not funny joke. These three are so fucking lame. I mean, this one more than anything else. Trying to impress her out of the competitions you win. Fuck that. What's the point of this? Whatever. You know, it's quite important to me that、um, when someone is very kind to other people and stuff. So,、sure. can, do you do anything for other people? Actually, yeah,、um, I've helped with、uh, relief work with the Red Cross. Okay, what you flew to some war zone or something? No, just like disaster areas, like floods, hurricanes,、ah. tornadoes. Okay, so you volunteer and go and do that? Yeah, absolutely. That's very cool. Thanks. You know what? I mean, when someone does that, they're obviously not going to be.、Um, Evil, basically. Right. So, so <laughs>、yeah. it's great, right? Or、yeah. selfish, even. It means you're very selfless. Yeah, I hope I so. I like that. It's very cool. Thanks. It's becoming yes, one. Yes, good. That's right. It's a way to build attraction because you're challenging her, and anytime someone kind of proves themselves, justifies themselves, works to get your approval, it makes them want the prize more. The prize being you in this case. So it's the right choice. So, do you go on many dates? Yes, in fact, I can't stay long. Some other chick is waiting. B, a few. Haven't met anyone special yet. C, not really, but she is special. 
nothing involving dicks, so that we are going for the well, what I think is the right one. But to be honest, yeah, of course, I'm I'm single, so I go on a few dates. Sure. Um, but haven't met anyone special yet. I, 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 to be honest, I do have another date planned like this week. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's okay. But you know what? We're not we're not together like a couple right. yet, so I'm oh, not right. gonna lie and say, oh, you know. Well. I already know you're the one for me or whatever. <laughs> let's let's take our time and if um, if we get serious then of course, you know, I'm a monogamous guy. I'll just be honest with you, I, I do have another date lined up this week. But Well, thank you for being honest. Yeah, and you're really cool, so thanks. Exactly. Remember honesty that actually is the worked. best policy. Um you know, and you think in dating it doesn't apply, but you can see here how being honest is refreshing and actually builds attraction. So Try and be honest in cases where it won't hurt you, like this. And what about you? Do you go on a lot of dates? I mean, I would say, I guess, average, you know. What's the average? 16 a week? <laughs> For you, maybe, <laughs> you know. Um, you know, a couple times a month, I guess. It's kind of hard dating in the city. Um, it's not exactly easy to meet people. Yeah. You know? Where do you meet them? Is it online or real world? Uh, I have tried the dating apps, but I don't like them. I like meeting people in real life. You it's know, better, you get right? a better idea. Being of, like, strategic, Positron. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, what kind of girls do you like? Describe her physically. Yeah, that's lame. Describe the physical opposite. I like big boobs. Try and touch her boobs. Of course, we're going to choose that one right away. Say so that you want a girl who's honest, trustworthy, kind, and intelligent. Generic. My opinion. Boobs. Well, I like I like kind of I do like big boobs. Mm -hmm. You know, small boobs are okay, but I kind of like like a handful. So let me just measure up. Oh, fucking pig! What? Should have hit him harder. Oh, you deserved that one, didn't you? Just describing you. the physical makes it look like you're a guy that just wants sex. In any case, so try and describe. Isn't that what you're more... kind of teaching? To an extent. Characteristics. So, yeah, let's go for the generic response. So for me, the most important things. Mouse God, how's it going? Kind, thoughtful. Uh, I like this is the best game ever. And curiosity, you know, that she's interested in finding out new things. That sure. she can talk about different subjects. I guess, I guess for me, that's the the most important stuff. It's a good list. Very good. By focusing on Generic the physical swag, but it works show apparently. That you're a serious guy. Now, if that's what you want to show, that's the way to do it. It shows that you thought about what kind of girl you need in your life, and it's more than just blonde with big boobs. And tell me, what kind of men do you like? Mm, tall, dark, and handsome. Typically, Normal. But really outdoorsy. Um, mm. I guess maybe uh, he can be husky sometimes. Kind of looks like a lumberjack, maybe. Okay. Oh, she's applying what I was giving as an option. Describe her immediately. A. Say that you chop trees and have some access in the house. B. Say that you have a checked shirt and walked in the park yesterday. C. That's pretty stupid. Don't you like men's suits? D. Say okay. That's interesting. E. I may not be a lumberjack, but I definitely have some foreign hard work, hardwood sorry, for you. Kind of lame, no dicks involved, no touching involved. So what should I choose? Whether it's for jokes or for serious good answer. How's your kid, mascot? How old is he or she? I don't remember. I remember way back then when your wife was pregnant. It must be fucking 10, 12 years old. Like all of us. E, you say? Five? Dude, it's been for fucking well, I ever. might not be a lumberjack, but I do have some, you know, English hardwood for you. Wow. <laughs> That's cheesy. <laughs> That's cheesy and kind cheesy? of gross. Is it cheesy? Yeah. yeah, there's not hardwood in English. It's like tropical, isn't it? Brazilian hardwood. I don't yeah. know. So like English, just English wood, run of the mill. Average. <laughs> it's catching up well, to us. No, not average. Special. Special. Oh shit, Special. that's scaring anyway. shit out of me. Right. This phone just vibrated. That's just uncalled for. No shit. All right, let me see what, what it is. F A K J J, 
follow me on Twitch. Thanks for the follow, I guess. All right. All right, fucking video games. All right, let's uh, finish this chapter. I don't know, it must have been a lot of money, mascot. I don't think this is going to work anyway. All right, play along with the jokes, I guess. I wish you'd said earlier, I've got this uh, plaid shirt, and what do I... I mean, lumberjacks have beards, so I've got the mm -hmm. beard. Um, what else? Outdoorsy, no, your beard I mean, isn't good. Yeah, I like the outdoors. I was Mine walking in the park, you know, earlier. Um, sure. Like two weeks ago, I went for a walk in the park. So, that's cool. I, I think pretty similar to what you described. Yeah? yeah. Cool. No, you're falling into the trap of uh, getting emotional and reacting to the challenge and trying to match up. It's not what you should do. You need to be cool with who you are. And later, if you do that, guess what? Her type will be you. So tell me, what music do you like? Well, you know, play the violin, so I do like classical. Um, but I like classic rock, too. I like a lot of 80s. The mic, come on. That's cool. Yeah, do you like uh, rap music? I like rap music. Um, yeah, a bit. I'm not as familiar with it, though. She mirrors your posture. What does it mean? She doesn't trust you. Mimicking your posture is a sign that she is hyper-vigilant and on edge. This is a bad sign. No, she's actually paying attention and interested in what you have to say. She's actually leaning towards you, in a way. So yeah, I know my shit, dude. Believe it or not. I don't apply it. After 10-15 minutes of speaking to a girl, if you notice that your postures are kind of matching and she, uh, she followed your lead there, then it means that she's very comfortable, relaxed with you and probably attracted. I think it's important to know what people want, right? Yeah. So it's good that I think it's maybe a personal question, but I'm glad that I'm glad we, that we both know what <laughs> each other likes. Yeah, I think so. Tell her she needs to sleep with your friends if you date. Tell her that you prefer dating bisexual women. Say that sex is very important, and you ask if she's good in bed. Ask what color her eyes are as an excuse to get close. E. Tell her you only date girls that meet a minimum booty threshold. <laughs> okay. So I suppose like the fine answer, the good answer would be an excuse to get closer. What color are your eyes? Are they blue or kind of gray blue? Bluish yeah? gray? Yeah. No. Excellent, Cringy. well done. This is one of my personal favorites. It's a very smooth way to go from just having a conversation to having a really intimate, spicy moment. Super spicy. I'm having a nice time and really happy we met. Lean forward and kiss. That's probably going to work, actually. Say you look like you are imagining kissing me. No. Can I kiss you? Asking for permission? Mm-mm. Listen, I want to kiss you, but can I chew this gun first? Very polite and gentleman-like. E, I don't think I've ever been in love before. All right. I mean, we know, but let's go for the gum joke. Listen, I, I, I just really want to kiss you right now, but first, do you mind, do you want a, a bit of gum? <laughs> I mean, your choice, if you want to have some. Is it bad? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah, did you maybe have no. some? No. No, I just have the tea that you got. Okay, well, that's okay. Well, here's, here it is if you want it. Thanks. Oh, Vito, that's just rude, man. <laughs> I can try again. That's why I went for it, because I knew it would give me another chance. Don't ask for permission for kisses. Don't confess your feelings. Don't say you're in love in the first date. Dude, I I'm wasting my time playing games for the internet. I should be a fucking dating coach. You know what? I'm having a really nice time with you, and... I'm really happy we met. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Like you're really nice, and I like you, but I'm just. God, Lord! Not that you don't love me. Right now? No. You don't love me. No. 
Not yet. The surprise kiss never works. Remember that a kiss should only come after you've created a nice seductive bubble and she wants it and she's giving you all the signs that she's ready. Any other... Yeah, the love thing, obviously, since it didn't work on letter A, it won't work on letter E. This is asking for permission. This is playful? You know what? You've got that look in your eye. Like what? Like you're imagining kissing me. Really? Yeah. You think so? Yeah, you were imagining it, weren't you? Hmm. Probably not. <laughs> this is a PUA routine. Works okay, but as with all the PUA stuff, it's better to be natural than to use this. But if you have to use it, it's all right. Later with. Oh, shit, it didn't work. I'm going to repeat when this. When someone does something like this, you know, charity, something that... Okay, what other options did I have? The other one was pretty much confessing my love, which obviously went... So the, it was really hey. suggesting Hi. me to ask How for permission hey, for a kiss. Very nice. You look great. Thank you. So do you. <laughs> take a seat. We're going to skip all this. All right, what about explain other options here? Uh, cat shelter. Mm -hmm. You want oh, that? Nice. All right, all right. You want uh, the the cat torture thing? All right. I'll give it to you, some guy, because you're my buddy, my best internet buddy. I mean, together with Wave, Team Boss, Mascot, Posse Tom, and everybody else. Ah, right, cat shelter. Yeah. Hmm, that's interesting because I'm gonna put the dog later. you might have met some some cats that I've been in contact with. Really? Um, yeah, what's the... Did a cat come to you, I don't know, like six weeks ago or so, like a ginger one with white spots? Mm, you remember? get lots of those. Yeah, I guess. Well, this was so funny, right? Me and some friends, um, we were just out and, you know, bored like you are. And there's this cat, like in my neighborhood, I often see it. It's very friendly, sure. like yeah. this ginger one. And it came up to us like that, right? And we were taking it, like playing with it. But then we decided we'd tie a little rope around it and um, attach fireworks all along. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. And then just lit it. And it was like... Like, that Those are the sound effects Actually, I make. I've got a video. I'll show no, you. No, you're joking. No, it was phenomenal. Look, wait. Phenomenal. One of the funniest things I've ever seen, actually. Where is it? Look, there is the little shit. Look. The what? little shit. See him. Oh my god. You see no. Him? How, how could you do that to a cat? He trusted you. He came wait, up look, to you. This is no, where the fire went no, out. no. I don't want to see it. You're terrible. What do you mean? No, you're absolutely fucking terrible. I'm I'm gonna call the cops. It likes it, no, I think. No, no, no. She acts very, very well. I'm not gonna lie. In the game, that's cool. In real life, totally illegal. Yeah, let's go for the dogs. A uh, cat shelter. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. I, I actually more of a dog person myself. That's great. We have Small dogs, dogs at the shelter too. Yeah. Yeah. With the cats. Well, not in the same cages. They fight, no. right? No. Well, they would. They would. But we have them in another area. Okay. Yeah. But you don't like the dogs? Or you I do, do like the dogs. Oh, okay, I just, They need more help with the cats, so that's what I do. Don't tell me this was the right answer. When you no, find something average. something that she's passionate about, try and engage with it. Don't change the subject. Don't block her. Give her a chance to open up and connect with you. Otherwise, you're more likely to shut her down for the rest of the day. So what does your work entail there? Are you, like, you know, holding a ball of string all day playing with the cats? <laughs> no. Serious stuff. <laughs> That's part of it. But um, actually, we do transports nationwide. Mm. So if the shelters full, then we find someone who... Wait, can we kind of skip all this. Okay, we fucked up this one. All right, l let's play the good guy here. Tell the truth. Well, you know what? I think you should just tell the truth because it's always my philosophy that... Nothing bad can happen as long as you tell the truth. Remember, the so goal is the case. We didn't make it. Yeah, That's I why I'm doing right. it again. If you can show good moral fiber, why not, right? It's a good thing to do, and it makes you look good. And at the same time, giving her some good advice. Some good um, what? I actually don't think you told me. All right, let's go for jokes. Yeah, because we did this one, and lame.
I'll have money. Actually, I run an obedience school for small pets like gerbils and hamsters <laughs> and whatever, you know, teaching them how to, uh, you know, be good pets, basically. No, you're making fun of my shelter <laughs> thing a bit. What do you really do? Oh, well, it's not that interesting. I'm, I'm a QA manager at a software company, but don't need to bore you with the details, right? <laughs> All right, fair enough. Polite as fuck. When a girl asks you what to do, if you do something that's not so interesting, or if you just want a little bit more humour, you can say something like this and it will get a smile. The key though is that when she perseveres to ask, you stop the joke at some point and, you know, turn serious again. So, what do you do? Let's see. It's my calling. Why should the... Yep, yep, when you have... So, I actually do photography. Alright, what was the right answer here oh yeah we ended up making this mean joke and then I progressed all right I guess that this is the only politically correct answer that I can see well, that's cool actually I, you know I know a lot about it through the photography but right. it's quite hard work isn't it actually yeah. people think it's easy you know just sitting there having pictures taken <laughs> yeah there actually is a lot of hard work you have to know all your best angles and this you know, game is Practical Super time. funny, come yeah. on. And have emotion in Fuck your you face. You can't just have a blank yeah. face, and that's actually much harder than people think. Especially at the end of a long day, right? You're tired, yeah. and the lights are on, and... And the shoes hurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely But there are pluses, right? So do, did you get to travel to any cool countries for, for mm, modeling? Never out of the country yet, but I've been to a lot of states and different cities. That's cool. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, good. Well done. Now, think about how you can apply this as well in your life. Think about how, even if you're not connected to a subject, you can kind of learn how to be empathetic, empathetic, not pathetic, and try and put yourself in their position, uh, feel how they might feel, and think about why they would choose to do that. So, this is you know, the best game of the of year. It allows you to have very Every nice year. connected conversations, and this is an example of it. So you've got your I'm gonna give my shelter review work, you after this chapter. You do some modeling, you yeah. do some photography, so yes. you're already pretty busy, right? Yeah, Do you have, do you have right. time for anything else? I like to hike a lot. I like to be outside, you know, being in the shelter and modeling, you're usually indoors. So mm -hmm. it's nice to get outside and I don't like being in the gym. So hiking is like my way of working Yeah, it's out. very good exercise it is. and fresh air and all that as well. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But um, I also really like, you know, staying in sometimes and just like watching a movie. Wait, we already saw this. Well, Metal Gear Racing Revengeance is basically the best Metal Gear game ever made and the only one worth playing I mean it all right so um, all right let's be playful I can't believe you admitted that you really like yeah it? I had to be honest it's guilty pleasure movie and it was recent you asked recent it just came into my head I don't know if it makes you look kind of dumb or if it's really? or if it's like honest and sweet that you know cute that you like it. I hope honest and sweet. Probably because <laughs> I'll tell you like one of my favorite movies is Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if are same, you like I think it too? That's silly. Yeah, but it's silly. It's the same. Same. Alright, nice one. Okay, cool. I like it. Good. <laughs> Both equally done then. Like Predator. No. <laughs> Notice that this is playful, it's not insulting. So if you can find that perfect line where you're able to tease without hurting people, you can use it quite often and there's an example, good choice. So what sort of movies? Do All right, the movie talk. Yeah, this was the right one. I see. Good, good. This good, good. And I like, you know, really talented actors, but you want to impress her and then this guy says don't impress her because if she likes you she likes you anyway yeah the dick all right see what area do you live in by the way do you live close by kind of um i live in the northern part of chelsea are mm -hmm. you close uh, now I'm not too far, just um, bought a place in, in Soho, so oh, I'm wow. quite close by. That's yeah. a great area. Yeah, it's, it's nice, you know, I wanted, to, I wanted to get a cool place with a view and, you know, I like the area, so... Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. Cool. I'm dropping all the frames now. Have you ever lived anywhere else, abroad or anything? Only in the, in the States. Okay. I actually tried living in a few places. Really? Uh, yeah, I lived in Rio. Wow. Um, of course, lived in London, lived in New York. Yeah. Micronoise. That's really awesome. Lots of different places. It's really, really cool. 
Oh. Rio is very nice. Is it? It's, it's a little bit dangerous. It's a carnival. Yeah, they yeah. have carnival. It's uh, like two weeks. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> and New Year's is big there. But, you know, very nice weather. It's got the beach and a very beautiful city. That sounds fun. Okay, well, why am I dropping now, all the frames now? What you now? need to do is think about the things in your life that are kind of show offy, where you went to school or your possessions, whatever it could be. And then if you do want to brag about it, which you don't have to, um, but if you do, then you can do it in a smooth way like this, where you just encourage her to ask you the right questions so you get a chance to show off. This is like halfway through now. Okay, what am I... Dropping this so many frames. This is not an absolute rule, but in most... Lame jokes. Oh, can I tell you? We already went through this. One of the biggest. And how about your family? Do they live? Do they live? Twin sexual fantasy. Special bond. Twin. Wow. Now be careful. So, what about your family? Increase the attraction. How did it do that? If I ever did. Oh yeah, this shit. You know, it's quite. Im yes, good. That so, do you? Honest. But to be honest. Exactly. Right. And what about you? Do you go on a? So, oh yeah. Here's the funny joke that I missed earlier. Enjoy it. Well, I like. I like kind of. I do like big boobs. Mm -hmm. Wait, know, no, I didn't miss this are... one. We already saw it. Oh, you deserve that one. Oh no, the the booty threshold is the one I missed. All right. Yeah, let's go for this one. So for me, the very good. Bye, folks. And tell me what kind of. Mm -mm. I don't think I got this one right. What about this one? It might seem counterintuitive. Okay, that's I don't interesting. Know. Kind of different from yeah from the average and hard to find. Yeah. Nice one, you didn't fall for the bait. Woo! And this is one where she, you know, could either be trying to get a reaction or just by chance it happens. And the key again is not to get emotional and fall into justifying yourself, proving yourself, asking why, calling her wrong or whatever it is. So just be cool with it. So tell me, what music do you like? Well, you know. Mm. After 10. Yeah, I'm winning. I think it's important to know what. Oh yeah, here it is. Girls have to meet a minimum booty threshold. Do you know the rapper Gucci Mane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? He says, uh, diamonds on my bezel haven't got room in my schedule unless booty like jello. So that's kind of my philosophy to life. <laughs> so can I just check if you match? Basically, let me just compare your butt to... No. If you can fit in that, then I'm not really interested. So. Can can we just check quickly? Just you can, for a second. You can check as I'm leaving. Just How's put that your booty. Deal? Come, come Do not touch me. How can I check? Mm. <laughs> but how can I check? Shout out to Gucci Mane and um, why not? But don't do it. But why not? But don't do it. This is like, like an attempt to be funny there, but well, well anyway. All right, this actually worked out. What color are your eyes? Excellent. Well. Okay, this is the last part. But why not? Yeah, this didn't work. This didn't work either. This one I didn't try. This was offensive. This is asking for permission. This is definitely a no-go, but... Basically, you're saying that you are falling in love way too soon, but it seems like it might work. You know, I, I don't know if you feel this too, but I, I just feel an incredible connection with you <laughs> since since maybe the moment I met you. Sure. And, um, I've, I've been in love before, of course, but I just feel all those feelings again and, and more, and I think it would just be perfect to... Oh, I, <laughs> I'm sorry, like, you're really nice and I like you, but I'm just... 
not that you don't serious love me? right now. No. You don't love me? No. Not yet? Wait, this is the same reply as earlier. Oh, you little sweet pea. So the only one left of a choice is can I kiss you? So I tried all of the others and none of them, of course, neither jokes or possible right answers actually applied. Dude, what's with the drop frames? Holy shit. Now there are lots of repeats in the game. Anyway, I'm about to finish the stream, but I want to see the good Listen, outcome. Can I, can I kiss you? I mean, What's your mind? It's not always attractive to ask if you, you know. I knew it. It's more fun if you just kind of go for it. Really? I, should I just went for it you? three times. I mean, we're not so extreme, but you shouldn't. Okay, you ready? You shouldn't I'm ask. gonna do it. Are you ready? Let's try again another time. Okay, and I won't ask. Right. Got it. Wait, I explored all the options. None of them were really? correct. You had to ask. No, all wrong. So you don't get the keys regardless of what you do. When you find something that she's passionate about. Try and engage with it. Don't change the subject. Don't block her. Give her a chance to open okay. up and connect with you. Otherwise, you're more no, likely to shut be. her down for okay. the rest. I think I know what happened. There was a, another mission earlier in which I chose actually a final answer which was right, but the response was different. So basically, it was a problem with the game, a failure from the game, pretty much selecting a different choice from the one I initially picked. That's the thing. It happened when I was meeting the two girls that I was suggesting some sort of after party and I ended up like suggesting something else from a different option. That must have been it. Of the date. One last time. If not, that's it. Uh, Cap when that explains that repeat anyway. So what does your work in? Well, you know, go, 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 go. If you could, um, actually, yeah, funny jokes. Actually, I want to go out. <laughs> meow, bo, so meow, boom. You... Yeah, the summary. I see the. Yep, yep. When. So I actually do photography. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, good. Well, so you've got your. So yeah. Give you for small dogs. Notice that this. Dude, I've so been streaming for almost you? five hours. Damn, it's been forever since I'm doing these long ass streams. I... Good, good. This. Good, good. And I like, you know, really... Yeah, it's borked. Let me try it again. A violin takes a lot. Oh, wait, I chose then something by can't... accident. Problem is, I cannot just skip to the one question right away. This is not an app. Oh, can I tell you, one of the biggest, and how about your family, do they live, do they live in the city as well? Twin, what? Now be careful. So, what about your... Come on. You know, it's quite... Yes, good, that's... So, but to be honest, exactly right. And what about you? Do you got? So for me, the very good. Bye. And tell me, what kind of men do you like? Mm, that that would make sense. Kinda. Okay. Nice one, you didn't... I insist, I think it's a so problem me, with the game. You... Borked. After 10... I think it's important. 
Colour your eyes. Excellent. Well done. Okay, here we go again. So, could be either this, because we already got the actual response to this. Well, this is what we got earlier. She said, hey, but it kills the fucking magic, right? This is bad. It has to be this one. It's either this one or nothing. You know what? I'm having a really nice time with you and I'm really happy we met. Me too. And I would just like to... <laughs> All right, whatever. Most of the work in Going for the Kiss is when you do the non-verbal stuff that builds that seductive bubble. So you've chosen the right thing here. That's I did exactly it how like to do it. 15 minutes ago. But anyway, thank you, game. I'm a super seducer. When you find something that she's passionate about, I told don't you. engage with it, don't change the subject, don't block her, give her a chance to open up and connect with you, otherwise you're more likely to shut her down for the rest of the date. I don't know what to think, to be honest.